Did you know that Eritrea, a small country on the northeast coast of Africa, has three official languages? A testament to its rich cultural diversity, this hidden gem communicates in Tigrinya, Arabic and English. Nestled on the Horn of Africa, Eritrea shares its borders with Sudan, Ethiopia and Djibouti, each contributing to the vibrant cultural tapestry of the nation. However, the allure of Eritrea extends far beyond its linguistic diversity. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, Eritrea has so much more to offer. Eritrea is a land of contrasts, where you can experience everything from scorching deserts to cool highlands. Imagine stepping into the hot, arid plains of the Danakil Depression, one of the hottest places on Earth. It's a place where the sun doesn't just shine, it blazes. The air is thick with heat, making every breath a testament to the extreme conditions of this desert. But Eritrea isn't just about the heat. Travel up, way up, and you'll find yourself in the cool highlands of Asmara, the capital of Eritrea. Here the air is crisp and clean, a stark contrast to the oppressive heat of the desert below. The landscape is lush and green, a paradise for wildlife and a haven for those seeking respite from the heat. This dramatic diversity in topography contributes to a wide range of ecosystems and wildlife. From the camels roaming the desert, to the myriad bird species in the highlands, Eritrea's biodiversity is as varied as its landscapes, so if you're a fan of diversity in landscapes, Eritrea is a country you can't afford to miss. Eritrea's history stretches back thousands of years, with a rich tapestry of civilizations and cultures. Nestled in the heart of the Horn of Africa, this nation traces its roots to the powerful kingdom of Aksum. This ancient empire, once one of the most influential in the world, left an indelible mark on the region. Fast forward to the late 19th century, Eritrea found itself under Italian rule. The architectural legacy of this period is most evident in Asmara, the capital, where Art Deco buildings line the streets, a testament to a bygone era. But Eritrea's journey is not merely a tale of ancient empires and colonial rule. It's a story of a people's fight for freedom. After a protracted 30-year struggle, Eritrea emerged victorious, gaining its independence from Ethiopia in 1993. Eritrea's history is a testament to the resilience and spirit of its people. Eritrean Coffee Ceremony, a ritual that can stretch over Eritrea's strong sense of community and hospitality experience that you won't find anywhere else. Eritrea, a hidden gem of Africa, is a country that surprises at every turn. This captivating land with its myriad of contrasts is a treasure trove of fascinating facts and intriguing realities. Imagine a country where you can converse in not one or two, but three official languages. Eritrea, with its linguistic diversity of Tigrinya, Arabic and English, presents a rich tapestry of cultures and identities, each adding a unique thread to the nation's vibrant fabric. But the surprises don't stop there. This breathtakingly beautiful country is also a land of stark contrasts. From the scorching heat of the Danakil Depression, one of the hottest places on Earth, to the cool highlands of Asmara, Eritrea's landscapes are as diverse as they are stunning, and who can overlook the country's rich history, a saga of resilience and survival that stretches back thousands of years. Eritrean history is a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people, a narrative that resonates in the ancient rock-hewn churches and the relics of colonial architecture. Of course, no discussion about Eritrea is complete without mentioning its unique coffee culture. A ritual that extends beyond a mere beverage, Eritrean coffee is a symbol of hospitality and friendship, a tradition that binds the community together. These are just some of the fascinating facts about Eritrea. There's so much more to discover about this remarkable country.